How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you guys some of the best VPNs that you can use. And of course, VPNs that work with uh, Spectrum. So we've got Express, Nord, and Surfshark. Now, Spectrum is a US-based ISP, and they generally do allow the use of VPNs as long as they're not being used to engage in illegal activity or violate the terms of service of the ISP. However, it's worth noting that some VPNs may be blocked or restricted by Spectrum, especially if they're being used to engage in activities that are against the terms of service, such as torrenting copyrighted material. Now, if you're considering a VPN that cannot be detected by Spectrum, even if you're torrenting or whatever it is that you're doing, Spectrum won't be able to identify identify whatever it is that you're doing as long as you're using the VPN and I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs that work very well in bypassing throttling. Now this ISP is known for blocking users who like to torrent. It might also happen that your ISP will throttle your speed whenever you're doing data consuming activities or even collect private data. Now a VPN will allow you to avoid being throttled and will keep you private from your ISP and anonymous. And again, they won't be able to know whatever it is that you're downloading, even if you're torrenting. So I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs that work very well with Spectrum. They have a strict no locks policy, the military grade 256 bit encryption, uh, DNS and IPv6 leak blocking. Um, and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features. So pick and choose depending on your own situation and where you're looking for out of these VPNs and your own preferences and budget. Of course, you've got ExpressVPN, NordVPN and Surfshark. All of them work remarkably well with uh, Spectrum. ExpressVPN has over 3000 servers in 94 countries and you'll be able to secure up to five devices per subscription. NordVPN with over 5400 servers in 60 countries and you'll be able to secure up to six devices per subscription and you'll be able to secure virtually an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription. Now, how do you know which one to pick from these? Again, uh, it'll depend on what you're looking for. But to sum it up, ExpressVPN has a strong emphasis on ease of use, compatibility, reliability, and utmost anonymity and privacy. NordVPN is more of a well-rounded option that gives you a whole bunch of uh, bonus features for a very reasonable price. So it's a lot of value for the money. And Surfshark is the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without really sacrificing any of the necessary security features that keep your devices secure. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. And of course, they're all covered by 30-day money-back guarantees so you can test drive these VPNs for 30 days risk-free. Otherwise, you can simply get yourself the refund if you're not satisfied for whatever reason. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.